There are a number of risk factors. So there might be some genetic uh, makeup for some patients that are more prone to get neuropathy. We're trying to understand that through, through, through tests uh, from the blood. Um, there are different chemotherapy drugs that can cause it, so that's a big issue there. So new information is actually supported that patients with diabetes get more trouble with chemotherapy neuropathy, particularly with paclitaxel. Mixed data on whether that's true with oxaliplatin. It's not particularly surprising because patients with diabetes can get neuropathy also, so this is another added insult. So we need to, need to sort it out with oxaliplatin, but with paclitaxel, diabetes does it. New information also suggests that patients with who are heavier, increased body mass index or obese, patients get more trouble with neuropathy than patients who are not obese. And this might be because they get a higher drug dose that gets to their nerves, or it might be because it's, it could be a pre-diabetes and the same sort of nerve damage that you get there. So neuropathy is certainly a factor to consider. Uh, sometimes these drugs that we use that cause neuropathy appear to be the best drugs against the cancer process. But sometimes you have to sort those things through. If a person has fairly significant neuropathy to start off with, then you have to put that into perspective. Or if, for example, you're planning to give 12 weeks of paclitaxel, and after three or four weeks, they're getting a lot of neuropathy. Most patients, most people don't get a lot of neuropathy until later on in their disease process. But if they get a lot of neuropathy early on, you probably want to stop and rethink about the benefits and maybe you need to switch to a different chemotherapy regimen. I was involved with ASCO guidelines a while ago uh, as a co-chair of that process and there were 42 different studies that we looked at that were randomized trials. And our end conclusion with guardians trying to prevent neuropathy is that there were no recommendations for doing anything. So we were zero for 42, if you will. Um, new data, though, are looking a bit more promising in a couple of ways. One is that there's new information that exercise may actually decrease neuropathy. Uh, not enough to the point where we can say you shouldn't study it more, but there's good information suggesting that that might be something, and that's a good thing anyway. Another thing that looks promising, not to the point where we should be doing it wholesale at this time, is with paclitaxel giving something we call cryotherapy, which is actually cold therapy, putting the hands in frozen gloves or ice packs and feet too, with some, some data suggesting that, uh, that that will actually decrease the neuropathy that the patients get afterwards there. So not established at this point in time, but looks promising.